In this video, we'll look at SPM's database operations reports. Lots of people use SPM for monitoring various non-relational data stores, NoSQL databases like HBase or Cassandra, as well as Solar or Elasticsearch. On top of SPM collecting all their metrics, database reports I'm about to show you provide additional details about various database operations. Let's see what insights these reports provide in the SPM UI. You'll find these reports under the Database tab. Here, we see an example of an application that uses Solar. If this application used other data stores, you'd see them show up right here. On the left side, we have the list of top five operations. By default, they're sorted by the slowest response time so that we can quickly spot the slowest types of operations. We can also sort them by throughput or by time consumed. Here, our only option was Solar, and we selected it up here in the top left part of the UI, so these charts show us all solar operations that happened during the period that we're viewing, which we can change up in the time range widget or via one of these shortcuts. On the right side, we can see three charts showing the number of operations, operations throughput, and latency. Each chart shows all operations for the selected database type stacked one on top of the other so that you can easily get the sense of their relative values. For instance, here in the top chart, we can easily tell that this application that we're monitoring with SPM does a lot more searching than updating. Like in all other SPM charts, this little gear icon lets us create alerts on metrics in each chart, add charts to dashboards, share charts, etc. So now let's take a look at the left side again. The first thing to point out is this link that lets us see more database operations, not just the top five. In this particular example, our application really runs only updates and queries. So we still see only two types of operations. However, we can see that there are more types of operations that SPM can capture and report on if we select our database type and peek into this operation pulldown. So here we see a few other solar specific operations. And if we switch to Elasticsearch quickly, we can see that it has a slightly different set of operations. The model column shows what corresponds to a solar index or Elasticsearch index, or a table if we're looking at operations for a relational database. Further to the right, we have a few more self-explanatory metrics and sparkline visualizations so we can see any trends. That said, these metrics are derived from just the last five minutes of data. So this is really a view that will give you an idea of what is going on right now. Uh, it's sort of like top, but for data store operations. You'll notice these rows here are actually clickable. I'm not gonna click on them just yet, uh, so let's quickly go back to the overview instead. Here, you'll notice these bars are clickable too. And if we click on one of them, look what we get. The top 10 slowest successful operations that ran in the selected time period. We're looking at the last hour, and it looks like there was nothing really slow then. But let's go take a look at the last two days instead. And here, we do see slow queries. This one, that executed a while back, took quite some time to execute, and we can see which index it was running against. We can drill into the specific operation and see everything. Ha! Look at what we found. We found a query that requested a very large number of rows or documents from Solar. And people who run solar will immediately recognize this as a big no-no. So now, with this information in hand, we can go back to the engineers who wrote this application and point out this problem. And having the link to the detailed transaction trace right here will show this operation in the context of the whole call stack, and it will help developers spot the source of the problem. And finally, a few important things to point out about database operations. First, to get this information, add SPM agent to the application that is talking to a data store like Solar or Elasticsearch. This is because the SPM agent captures operations at that client layer, not in the server itself. Two, this works for all Java applications. And three, to start capturing this information, enable transaction tracing in your SPM agents. That's it, we hope you found this helpful, thank you.